hello my beautiful crochet friends welcome back to the channel today i'm going to show you a slightly different tutorial i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful african craft slipper stick with me to the end as i will also show you how to cut this template of the big toe at the end of the tutorial so without further ado let's get started so first of all i cut a 32 by 5 millimeter leather and drew 18 millimeter line on it just like this i use my 4 millimeter punch and punch it as you can see and but at the back i added a light fiber so that it will stand well while sewing it and i'm using 0 0.30 millimeter strong fishing line to sew my beads and I'm using sand beads so you're going to have a sand bead needle just like this small one that you use in picking the beads so I've already picked some of the beads on the fishing line so what I'll do I'm going to insert the tail the end of the fishing line inside like this and I tie it behind so after tying it we are going to start sewing so you insert and pull let the fishing line enter in between two bits and then put it back and pull insert in the next place pull let the fishing line enter in between two beads and return it back to the same place. So we are just going to keep repeating the same thing. So you can see how strong the bead is. So you are going to keep repeating the same thing to the end of the row. So you keep repeating the same thing when you finish the beads on the fish fishing line you can add more so that it will end here so i've reached the end and if you see as if you have some extra beads on the line on the fishing line at the end you can just remove it okay so on the second row as you can see from here we have one two three of the colored mixed colored beads so we are going to prick another hole close to this one like this i just make this four straight line to serve as a guide so on the second row again you can see how i prick this hole very close to the first one the reason is because it is sand bead and if you give gap you will see opening in between the rows of the bead as you can see this one it is close to each other that's why i make i prick the hole close to the first row before you start putting your bead and sewing it this needle that you are using in picking your bead just put it back Bring it to the back like this 
so you have two of the needle behind so you just tie the two like this to secure it well all right after tying it you are going to put this needle back to this side you push your needle back to this side so you are going to use the same needle and put in the new sets of beads all right so after putting your bead you are still going to use this bigger needle in sewing inside the needle here let it go in between two or three beads at the same spot and start it back check the next place You can see how it is going very thin and close so when the fishing line is finished like this you just cut it and put a new one I'm going to keep doing the same thing to the end of the row. So as you can see, I've just finished the second row now. So as I told you before, when you finish the last one, take this needle and insert it to the back again. Make sure it comes back like this then you tie the two so after you finish tying your fishing line from behind you insert the needle that you use to pick the bit to the front like this then you pick your bit <coughs> Inserting the fishing line again, insert it here, close to the, the two remaining beads and pull. So when you pull it, insert the needle 
inside these two last bit here. Basically, it's the same thing you are going to continue to the end. So, you just follow this pattern. You do one row of the golden color, do three rows of the mixed color, do another one row of golden color, three rows of mixed color, one row of golden color three rows of mixed color and you finish up with one row of golden color so we have three sets of three rows of mixed color and we have four rows of the golden color so you are just going to keep repeating the same thing as i did on this one and as i show you here as i show you here you keep repeating the same thing until you finish the whole rows so I'm going to meet you at the end of the rows. So friends, I've just finished sewing the rest of the bead on. We're going to keep this aside and we'll do the big toe. So as I've told you earlier, I've already have a template cut out, which I promise I'll show you at the end of the tutorial how to cut it out. I use it and I cut out my leather. So you can see the leather. This is how it is, and I have a light marker. You can use either marker or light fiber and attach here behind the leather so that it can be firm while you are sewing your beads on. So you just put some glue and let it dry. So I've just stick it, the glue has dry, I've just stick it. So we are going to start in the middle. I'm going to use the bigger needle and punch through first. So I just pass the smaller needle and I'll take one bead. And I'll take the needle back there again so I'll push the smaller needle again inside like this and now from here I'm going to pick about maybe like six beads that will go around. Carry the needle and insert into the first bit. Then you pull to make a little circle. Make a little circle around the first bit. So what you do now, you start using this big needle to soak. You can just press it down with your thumb. I didn't actually punch this one because I don't know how to punch it round. But if you have an idea on how to do that, please leave a comment for me down below.
all right so when you finish sewing you can try pushing it with your thumb try pushing it with your thumb to see how firm if you are sewn or if that is the case you drop the big needle you carry the small needle and pick up another col mixed color again for the second time so you try again you see it will not go around so you add all right you can see that it's a bit too much so you can reduce this three So you are going to carry the needle again, insert it into the first bit here. If you like, you can put it into two or one, all the same. So you pull through to make a little cycle like that. You can see. All right, then you just hold it tight. like this and you start sewing so you're just going to hold it like this and you start sewing again so you insert behind the second row of the beads and pull through make sure the thread passes through two beads then you insert backward and pull insert you can do it either from behind or from inside all the seam. It's not moving. So you are going to drop the big needle and pick another row. Of this you pick this row of the golden color so after picking the beads you are just going to put it like the way we did before like this just try to see if it will go around so you insert it in the last two bits and pull then you just start sewing after this one you're going to put the last color which is the mixed color and that will be up so please you are just going to repeat what i told you to the end you're going to meet at the end of the last row so at the end after you finish sewing it and you touch you can see that everything is firm none is shifting so this thread, this needle here, just insert it backward again. So you just insert this needle back and pull. So you tie the two here. So this is the inside and this is the, the right side. Put glue on both sides, on both the leather and this side, inside, and then you just glue it. When it is dry, you glue, okay? When you glue it, then you cut it out. And we are going to do the same thing with this one. We'll glue both sides and put it when it is dry when it is dry we'll glue it together and cut it out so i'm going to do that and i'll come back so that will last the shoe so i'm going to show you how to so to, how to make this simple template 
what you are going to do is you are going to find a ruler and measure basically you are going to measure six millimeter make a mark here and this is six so you make a mark here again then count you divide it into three which will be two millimeter each so you put a mark here and this is four you put a mark here so it means that we've divided it into three draw seven millimeter down from here you're going to come here and this is seven millimeter so you draw a line You are going to look for something small that has a cycle shape. So I just place it in the middle. I just place it in the middle. If you like, you can still extend. Sorry, I'm not good at drawing. I'm just trying to give you an example of what I did. So you just look for the middle make sure you size it well okay so you just make a cycle so what you do next is to cut just cut it you cut from here don't enter into the circle then you go round okay when you reach here you stop and take it this way again So it's just the idea you can see the round so you can take your time and do it very well if these sides are too big you can trim it down to your taste to what you want So that's how I made the template. So if you want to do, please just take your time, do the measurement well, and then cut it out the way you want it. So as I showed you earlier, you can see that I've already finished this one, and I I just use the same leather and cover the bag with glue. For this one too, I did the same. And I've already done my insole. I have a tutorial on how to cut insole. But if you don't know how to do this insole and you still want me to make another video on it, please leave a comment for me down below. And please remember to like and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to this channel. And if you like any of my videos, please hit the like button. Help me grow this channel by giving me a like and leave a comment for me in the comment section so what we will do next is we'll carry the insole and put it like this and we'll mark it so from this place that we have marked we just put another mark here We'll put another mark here 
and here following the mark that we make here okay so i've just punched the places so i'm going to use my utility knife and cut so please do not cut straight you just bend your hand a bit and the reason why i punch is so that it will not tear off if you cut it without punching it will not work So we are going to apply glue again. So friends, at the end, this is how the slippers look. So beautiful. So please, if you love this tutorial, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment for me down below. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.